Hi there. As I was praying this morning, I just had a burden for someone who, who is feeling so lonely. And then I started feeling like it's like a lonely hearts club band sort of thing. I started feeling the pressure of loneliness in people's hearts. And you can be lonely for many different reasons. Um, uh, maybe you're working in an isolated place or living in an isolated place and don't have um, Christian friends or, or you don't have fellowship or maybe you're lonely because um, you, you are wanting to be married but, but you don't have a spouse or maybe you're lonely because you are the only Christian and in your family and you live, live in a household where everybody is, is against you and you feel so alone in your beliefs. And I mean, there's many different reasons why a person could be lonely. But I have this burden for you and, and, and I just feel for what you're going through and I'm going to pray for that loneliness to lift because in, in, in fact, right now I'm also getting that someone just lost their spouse. Um, they went on to be with the Lord and, and you're devastated, you feel so alone. I also am sensing that someone just got a divorce within the last year and and you don't quite know what to do with yourself and you feel alone and and I see you crying even when you go to bed at night and 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 the pain of the divorce and the loneliness is hitting you. I mean, I'm just overwhelmed. God definitely wants to minister into this. So I'm going to pray with you right now for that loneliness to lift, but also I believe the Lord said that, that he is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And he wants to be a friend to you. And he wants to give you just new joy in your life. And sometimes when you're, when you're feeling lonely, it's like he's the only one who can fill you. And so you just have to allow his, his presence to come and fill you and draw close to him as a friend. And as you draw close to him, he will, he will strengthen you and he will remove that that. I guess the pain of the loneliness is what you would call it. But let me pray with you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray against the spirit of loneliness. I pray against the pain of the loneliness and the isolation and, and even the rejection that I, I sense on some. And I just break the power of it right now in the name of Jesus. And I ask, Lord God, that you would fill each of them with with um, with with just a sense of your presence because you are um, a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And Lord, you are a bridegroom to those that, that need companionship in that way too. And you are a father to the fatherless and, and, and you are everything that we all need. So Lord, I pray that you would be so, so great, um, so greatly present in each one of them right now so that this lonely pain would be lifted off of them. And Lord, I pray also that in this next while that they'll meet many new friends and that you'll connect them with everything that they need in the natural. And I'm actually sensing that for you too. I, I sense that God's going to make a way. He's going to open up a way that, that, that the dreams and desires of your heart are going to be filled and the loneliness and the isolation, the rejection is going to leave you and your desires will be fulfilled. So be blessed and know that you are loved with an everlasting love. You really are.